Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Chrono Trigger Set One. Oh my God, I love this game. Um, uh, I can't even get I can't even get enough into why how much I love this game. So basically, this game is a very classic game. It came out during the um, I want to say uh, SNES era, the Super Nintendo system. Uh, maybe during the just Nintendo Entertainment System. I can't remember exactly. No, 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 SNES. Um, it was a great game. And they uh, ported it to the PS3. Um, wait, hold on. Let me let me rephrase all that. Okay. The, the game originally came out, like, I believe the SNES. Maybe the uh, NES. Can't remember exactly, so forgive me on that part. But later on, it was ported into the PlayStation 1 era as a secondary game on the Final Fantasy Anthology uh, disc set. Basically, you had the Anthology game, which was, I believe, uh, 3 and 4. And it came with this disc as well. Now, later on, when the PS3 came out, it was added to the uh, PlayStation Store for $9.99. And if you don't have this game yet, get it. It is a great, great classic game. And I personally believe it still holds up even all, after all these years. Especially with the games going more and more with the classic uh, feel and look. Okay, then. Active Time Battle Version 2. Enemies will attack, even if you're not ready, and take your time to choose items and fight strategically. Oh, fuck that noise, we're going active. <clears throat> Alright then, we can choose our character's name. Now, we don't have a lot of uh, numbers, or a lot of uh, spaces to choose a name from, so let's see how many we have. We have five slots to choose our character's name from, so let's go ahead and rename him Chrono. I'm going with the uh, family-friendly name. Our names. Now, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna say this quickly. This game is a pre, not a prequel, a um, the original game of the Chrono series. It came out before Chrono Cross and Radical Dreamers. This is the game that started it all. So, you may see some uh, some things that were in Trigger or Cross that uh, make appearances here. I do know I mentioned a few of those things during my Let's Play of it, but um, sadly, I played Cross before this game. I know Blasphemy and whatnot, but I had, cro I had Cross Fork Trigger, so. But still, let's get to it. God, those graphics. They still look beautiful, even after all this time. I'd say. I believe the game got a uh, graphical update when it went to the uh, uh, consoles and then finally this as well. Ah, I love this game. You can't see it, but I'm actually smiling a lot. I love it. Chrono. If you press square, you can actually flip this up and down, by the way. Chrono. Good morning, Chrono. Come on, sleepyhead, get up. Ah, uh, Lens Bell makes such beautiful music. I want to get up. You're so excited about the Millennial Fair that you didn't sleep well, did you? I want you to behave yourself today. Fuck you, Mom. Let's get moving now. No! I want to sleep. Yeah! Money. Yeah! 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 yeah. Alright, go back to bed. Okay, um... <clears throat> let's go through a few things about this game. Since this is my first time playing it, it's not a replay, I will be doing a... as close to 100% as I can, which means I'll be getting... Pretty much everything that I come across. So, alright. Okay, basics of the game. Here's our menu, here's our character stuff. Oh, to the right, here are our weapons. We currently have the base level stuff, a wooden sword, which is called a bodkin in Japanese. Hide cap, hide tunic, and a bandana. Fun little side note, the lightning next to Chrono's name represents his uh, innate element. Similar to uh, Chrono Cross, where it had, you know, white, black, and those colors. Um, each character has an element that they are associated to in magic. In this game, Chrono is lightning. Fun side note, in the Japanese version, that was heaven. But it was translated to J lightning due to um, 
not wanting to be, you know, uh, have religious overtones. Okay, HP, MP, my physical attack is 8, defense is 16, not bad. Power 5, hit 8, speed, magic, evade, stamina, magic defense, blah, blah, blah. My items, not anything. Text, okay. Um, these are our abilities. We don't, we don't equip new abilities like in like Final Fantasy 7 or something like that, or in, um, Chrono Cross where you can equip elements. You actually learn techniques. Excuse me a second. Uh, Quill starts with uh, Cyclone, or you, you'll learn Cyclone when, once we get five more tech points. Uh, we get tech points for beating enemies, so fun stuff. This basically does a uh, AOE damage, which you'll see when we get to battles. Um, what's cool about this, unlike the previous, unlike uh, the next game, you actually get to see uh, what level two, level what dual tech or triple techs you have available. These are uh, techniques that require multiple multiple characters to activate. Unlike the uh, sequel, where you just have to sort of know. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Back in. Ooh. I forgot there's actually a pause button. Yeah, there's some music. Alright, here we have this. Color. There we go. Uh, what's this? Keep that. Control. No, no. Okay. That'll do. There's our swap, and here's our save. You can only save that save points are on the on the field map. About it though, so let's go! Woo! Let's start with the sprint! Ha! Okay. By the way, it's the victory! Hey, Mum. Finally, by the way, that inventor friend of yours. You know, uh, you know. Oh dear, I've forgotten her name. Now we can choose our best friend's name, who is an inventor. Luca, let's stick to it. That's right, Luca. Don't forget that she wanted you to see her new invention. Run along now, be back before dinner. Talk to her again. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's your allowance, dear. Have fun at the fair. Georgie's. Thank you. Meow. Okay. Alright, true sin. We're gonna go around stealing a few items to just get uh, ahead of the curb. Alright, excuse me, lady. This box has, this box has been, the family genera uh, been the family for generation. Open it, you may have what's inside. Sealed by a mysterious force. That will come into play later on. Oops. Basically, there are a lot of these boxes uh, throughout the world, and uh, we can't open them. Not until a lot later on. What's cool about those boxes is the same box actually has multiple items in it, depending on how you open it. I'm keeping quiet on the main mechanic of this game, even though I want, I'm sure everyone knows what it is. But uh, I'm going to try my best to keep quiet about that. Here's where you get a tutorial about everything, by the way. Save points, tunic, uh, tonics, and stuff like that. Tunics. So talk to people, you learn about the controls. I love this aspect of uh, how to learn the control, the control system. As opposed to spending like half an hour trying to go, okay, here's what this button does, here's what this button does. Instead, it's more of a, okay, if, if you know how to play, go play it. If not, there's a special room that teaches you how to do it. This is, a, this is our stall in Lens Square. Well, fuck you too, man. Alright, Residence. Uh, I don't see anything. Alright then. Okay. 
I'm gonna check something quickly. Fuck it! I'm going back to this. I can't get those chests. I'm always wondering how to get those chests in the back, but uh, I'm, I'm certain you can't get them yet, unless you have a no clip uh, glitch or something. Alright, let's uh, do our first save. Now, I, I was going to, uh, I did have these uh, sets recorded in advance a long time ago, but I had to get rid of them to make space for uh, some other stuff. So, unfortunately, I have to, over I have to override some of those uh, files. But that's neither here nor there. Come on. Here we go. Alright, welcome to Lens Square. Now there's a lot of interesting things we can do here. Uh, mostly we can go to the fair and actually play a few games, which is actually recommended to do. Uh, one of them at least. Uh, the first one is over here. Oh, actually ran through a stall. Interesting. Hi. Press X button when you're fa uh, when fa while facing the bell. Judge your distance carefully. Press the circle button. Okay. Basically, as far as possible, and try to ring the bell. Oh. Used to be good at this. Damn it! Basically, have to be the, the second right before you start going forward. Come on. We'll get at least once. Fucker. There we go. And you want zero point for doing that. Zero points are used in, um,. Uh, over here, inside here to uh, do uh, mini games. Basically, uh, there's a mini game you want to do that's uh, pretty easy. Huh? I'm gonna explain a little bit more about some of the other quests. Let's see here. Um, here, you you can get a uh, oops, they messed with triangle. You can guess who's gonna be the winner by uh, talking to him, and if you win, you get silver points. Um, the one side there is Norstein's Beckler's Lab. The very last one, uh, very last mini game there, you have to beat for uh, storyline reasons, which I'll do later on. First, let's talk to you. By some of my cure, the swordsmith. Sure, why not? Alright, Iron Blade or Lude Sword. 4,000 gold, motherfucker. Tonics. I'll uh, stick with the Iron Sword, thank you. Oh shit, I bought two by accident. I forgot there's an equip option, I could have done it right in there. Fuck. And then I cut into these. So, come see me sometime. I'll think about it, money. My uh, buddy. Here we go. Better sword! If you get that load sword early on, you make this game just so much easier. Alright. Now there is a series of events that can ha that'll happen later on. Um, you have to be very careful with what you're doing with this. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna read what this person wrote in the guide. I'm actually using a guide to make sure I have everything I have everything I need to know. So he says, listen up now. The actions you perform here from here are are now essential to later uh, repercussions. Screw us up and you die. Well, not really, but you get the gist. The point is to try and be best, the best little Samaritan you can be by doing a bunch of stuff. First things first, do not run into this girl. Let her run into you. Oop, I guess you have to run into her. Hey! Ouch, that hurt! I'm so sorry, are you okay? Uh oh, my pendant. Alright, check on her first. Oh no, don't, don't tell me I lost it. Go find the pendant, and give it to her. Oh thank goodness, my pendant it has a lot of sentimental value. Yeah. I came to see the festival. You live in this town, don't you? 
I feel a little out of place here. Would you mind if I uh, walked around with you for a while? Sure. You're a true gentleman. Oh, by the way, my name is... Er... My name is... Meryl. I may call her Marl because of uh, force of habit, but Meryl, yeah. Uh, Meryl, and your Chrono, what a nice name. Pleased to meet you. Now lead on. Okay, so we can be the nicest, nicest little Samaritan we can possibly be. First, we need to find a uh, stray little kitty. Over there. Don't eat that, even though you can. Kitty. And lead it all the way to the other side of the map. Make sure it doesn't get caught behind anything. Round, we go. And talk to the owner. You brought my cat back, thank you. You're so sweet, Chrono. Never been to game? Soda chugging. I'm certain in the original it was beer uh, guzzling, so. Press X as fast as you can. Ready, set, go. Ah, oh, almost got it. I switched between fingers, so. You're awfully competitive, aren't you, Chrono? Okay, um, let's see here. Right, challenge Gato to a uh, duel and win. This is another one of the mini quests we can do. No, one of the games we can do, I should say. This is sort of the uh, battle tutorial. We find Gato, who is this giant pink robot. They call me Gato, I have metal joints, beat me up, and earn 15 silver points. I love the song, you actually can sing the lyrics along with it. So basically we gotta kick his ass, so let's do it! My odds are it, I'll win! One. There we go! Ow! He will counterattack us, so... Basically, the battle system works as in, uh, there's a distance set, yet you'll rush run to the enemy and attack them, but, uh, at the very beginning of each battle, you'll always be in this set, uh, set sort of thing here. The enemies themselves will actually move around. 10 HP points. One tech point. I lost Yuan. He's 15 points. That wasn't that fun. Give me it. Thank you. I'm actually going to uh, fight him five times so I can get my uh, my first tech. It's kind of fun, so enjoy yourselves. Me, me kicking this guy in the ass. Let's do it. Come on. There we go. Bam. Man, fuck you, man. Ow. Headshot. Hit. <laughs> Chrono, er, Meryl shoots him. Chrono gets punched in the face for it. Ow. And there goes Chrono. And I win. This Chrono's knocked out, I think, I get EXP for him. Alright. I'll worry about that later, then. But I got 30 points for that, I'm at 31. What's my HP like? Ooh. There we go! Ooh, it's like a storm outside. Ominous. Alright, hell with that. The next thing is... We need to talk to uh, Melchior again, with Meryl on our party. Sorry, I didn't mean to press that. Turn right that way. Excuse me, old dude. So talk to Melchior, down over here. Hey, buddy. 
Buy some Famacula Swordsmith? Sure, why not? Let's see what you got again. He shouldn't have anything new. Oh, they may have something from Meryl. Nope. Alright, saw the wooden sword. I've gone to the east, come see me sometime. By the way, could you talk that young lady into selling her pendant? Uh, say no. Fuck you. Alright, once that's done... Uh, that should be it. Alright, when you come back here a little bit later... Let's see here. Hey, you talk to her. Let's be So, what if we won war against uh, Wizard hundreds of years ago? Nope, not you. Somebody to talk to. Is it you? Her look and her dad made some another crazy invention. Hope it doesn't blow up like all the others. That'll be ready by now. Make sure, uh, make for the far side of the square. This is gonna be fun. Come on, Chrono. Alrighty, let's go. Do to do. Hold your horses. I want to get some candy. All right, just set the control down. Do not move. Do not do anything. Hi, I'd like some of this. <laughs> sure, young lady. Thanks for waiting. You're welcome, Meryl. Onwards and upwards. Step right up, any of you who have uh, have the time and courage. Our super dimensional warp is the invention of the century. To use it, jump on here. And you'll be teleported here. It's the masterwork of my beautiful daughter, Luca. Oh, Luca. Hey, doing, buddy? Chrono! Where have you been? No one wants to try the telepod. How about you? It looks like fun. I'll watch while you try it out. You can skip this if you go talk to Meryl. Just hop onto the left pod. Alright. All systems on. Begin to transfer. Woo! Yeah! Oh wow, that was great! You can do as many times as you want. Just go back to the left pod and you can do it. Hey Meryl! What a kick! I want to try it too! Huh? Hey, Corona, how did you pick up a cutie like her? And your hook is up, huh? Good wingman. Yeah, Corona, I'll be right there. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, as this vision of loveliness steps aboard the machine. Don't go away! I'll be right back! You sure about this? There's still time to change your mind. No way! Throw the switch! Ballsy little girl, isn't she? Alright, everyone, let's give her a great round of applause, a great ha big hand when she reappears. All systems on. Begin to transfer. Huh? What's happening? I pinned it. It's. That can't be good. Luca, where is she? She's over, folks. Let's head. Let's head along now. What's going on, Luca? Where is she? The way she disappeared. It could have been the telepod. The warp field seemed to be affected by her pendant. What are we going to do now? She's so familiar. I know I've seen her somewhere. Let's go! Chrono! Sorry. You've actually, you're actually going to do it? Oh, fine lad. Listen, I don't know where this machine is going to send you, but we haven't any other choice. Won't they both be lost? 
It's our only hope. The pen that pendant seems to be the key, so hang on to a chrono and brace yourself. Also, some on. Begin energy transfer. Power to full. Roger. More. Give me more power. Roger. Do it. There, we did it. And there is the gate to hell. No oh, gods. I'll follow you after I know what went wrong. Good luck, Luke Chrono. I said, good luck, Luca. Oof. Where's the Doctor Who theme when you need it? God, that's trippy. Oh gods! Little blue pygmy! Oh no! Alright, time to kick some asses. Qua! By the way, as a fun side note, you can tell whenever you get a crit hit with Chrono. I'm not sure about everyone else because, uh, well, so, actually everyone else, uh, everyone has their own unique animation when they do a crit. If you see Chrono slash twice, it means he had a critical hit. I can't remember the other characters. I think with Meryl, it does a uh, brighter flash when, she, when the enemy hits. The screen flashes white. Three tech points! Woo! So, one more tech and I'll learn Cyclone. And I'll be able to tell you about uh, how techs work. Alright. Hello! Basically, uh, each enemy will give you one tech point, so if you fight multiple enemies, you'll get multiple tech points. So keep that in mind. There's the crit hit! Yeah. Run leveled up! Run run cyclone! Woohoo! Over here. And you. I mean, tonic, Wunderbar. Power Glove, our first accessory. Which increases our, obviously, our power. Which is better than our bandana, which just gives us a plus one to speed. So, let's get plus two to power, give more oomph. Let's go kick some fucking ass, eh? Now, similar to Chrono Cross, by the way, you can avoid some battles if you don't uh, come into contact with them. But if you do, like this, you get into a fight. Now, I'm going to explain text as well, right here, because this is actually a perfect place to do it. Okay. Basically, each character has a uh, AoE abilities. Cyclone has a uh, circular AoE, so anyone within that range will be able to be attacked as well. There are um, circular AoE and line uh, attacks. Basically, anything that's in the line will get damaged. Anything in the circle gets damaged as well. And then there's just field magic, which just does damage to everything on the field. Except for your party, of course. This is the um, circular one, and you'll be able to see the field when you use it. Is anything in that range we could hit? So it's a good way to uh, just clear house. All right then, that is that. Now set one is going to be very short. It's probably going to end up end very soon because there's a little trick that not a lot of people know about that gives you a uh, basic unlimited supply of money early in the game as well as unlimited supplies of healing items. So. I'm going to be doing that. I'm also going to be uh, level grinding off screen, too. No one shoppers, what do you want? Have you seen a lady? She has blonde hair. Or well, orange hair. Iron blade, dark gun. Alright. Kind of key, bronze helm, top tonics. Okay, so this. This is shelter. These are uh, tents from Final Fantasy VII. From Final Fantasy uh, you can only use these at save points or on the field map, but they will fully restore your HP and MP. They are beautiful. 
and I know a way to get unlimited supply of these, and I'll teach you how to do it, and that'll be in the set. First, though, I'm gonna give me a karate gi. Alright, sell that. Welcome, buddy! Alright, let us do a quick save before going inside the Soul Forest. Now, there are some items in the, in the uh, village back there that looks a lot like uh, the village from our home, but just a little different because our house isn't there. But if you go there, you can find uh, chests as well. I'll be doing that a little later on. I love the music. Now, come on. Garudia Forest. Now, you can come here um, before the events of the Millennial Fair, but I decide not to. Alright, so we want to go this way first. There's a sparkle on the floor. Power tab! Now, some people would save these for uh, strategical purposes, give them to other characters and whatnot, you know, make it a little bit easier. Fuck that noise, I always give them to the main character. Come on! Hiya! That's interesting. So yeah, sometimes it may be uh, it may be wise just to wait for enemies to get into a certain range so you can get them all in the uh, tech range, and then just one shot the entire group. Of course, you have to be careful when doing that because if you're in active mode, they will attack you back. All right, so what's my next ability? Slash at 80 tech points, fuck. Actually, no, I'm going to continue on a little bit further. We'll be getting uh, uh, another character soon, so I'm going to have them with me so I can train with them. Alright, this bush. That monster will always drop a shelter. So if you leave and come back, you can get the uh, more shelters. Bugging that wall, by the way, you ignore an uh, uh, enemy fight. Not a boss fight, but an enemy fight. All right, we're gonna go through here quickly, and when we're done with this, that'll be at the end of this set. Give you a little taste of uh, what's to come. Bolt, who goes there? Check out that hair. Are you from? Where are you from, son? Are you one of Megas' troopers? Harley, this kid would never make the cut. Show us your stamp collection, son. Haha, <laughs> Now be it, shrimp. Stop that once. Queen Len. Tree of Manners, this is a friend of mine. But there's something odd about him. Bitch, did I stutter? You refuse to obey, obey my orders? Forgive me, my lady. Please enter, sir. Fuck, right? Giggle. So apparently I know the queen. Must have fucked her at some point in time. Alright. Uh, hi? Sir, I know... Uh, I understand that you're the one who saved my dear wife, the Queen. She told me happened. Len seems ra uh, acting rather odd, and she seems to have lost her coal pen, which is something she guarded with her life. Forgive me, you must be tired. We'll talk about this later. Please rest in the night's quarters downstairs to the left. Uh... Yeah, actually, I can do that. <laughs> I can use the rest. Now, contrary to what you want to do, don't loot anything for a while. Uh, we'll be doing that. We'll be using that later on. Can you this? Yes, please. If you find chests here, don't loot them yet. Oh, that's a running joke in the Chrono games. There's always a knight somewhere just sleeping through the entire game. And you can't wake him up. There are uh, rumors that have been circulating for years that that knight is actually um, a character from Chrono Trigger, Chrono Cross, that pops into this game. That he was uh, planned to appear in this game or something. 
Or bullshit, mind you, but yeah. I need to go up over here. Alright. Just take a look around. Yeah, that chest you want to ignore. So I was trying to keep track of my little checklist thingy. Alright, let's go! Between the weights. Oh, good! I'm a concubine. Ladies. Ah, there you are! Please leave us. I need to talk to this individual. Certainly, Your Highness. Ah, twin maids. Lucky. Come nearer, sir. Boop. Giggle. I fooled you, didn't I, Chrono? It's me. Everyone calls me Len. Everyone calls me Len. I'm so relieved you're here. We barely know each other, but somehow I knew you'd come for me. Sniffle. Thank you, Chrono. You're welcome, Meryl. Something's wrong. What's happening? I feel like I'm being torn apart. Help me, Chrono. I'm scared. Please, Chrono, help me. Oh, gods! It literally looks like I was casting a spell and then punched her. Uh. I didn't do it, I swear! It wasn't me. It was the one-armed man. I love how if you're running out of wall, Chrono just stands there going, Nope, can't go that way. Like this. Nope. Nope. Alright then. A little farther on. Basically what we're trying to do, by the way, with the chests is, um, if you ignore them for now, later on, you can get better items from the chests. Chrono! Huff, 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 puff. You okay? Did you find the girl? Gone? What do you mean she's gone? Hmm, it's just as I thought. I knew I recognized her. And this looks identical to the castle in our time. Say what? I bet they mistook that girl for her ancestor. You see, she's a member of the royal family in our time. She's Princess Nadia. Meryl is the, that is, Princess Nadia is the descendant of Queen Len. She fucked, had a kid, they grew up, fucked, had a kid, grew up, fucked, <laughs> had a kid, and she grew up. This is actually a great, um, great uh, way to describe uh, some, some time travel fu fun shit. Queen Len has been kidnapped. As I recall, someone was supposed to have saved her, but history has been changed. Ha <laughs> looks so much like Queen Lynn that they probably called off their search when she appeared here. But if the real queen is killed... I believe this is called a uh, bootstrap pa uh, paradox. I can't remember the exact term terminology though. Meryl will simply disappear. There might still be time if we can save land. History as we know it will, should remain unchanged. Something must have happened to the Queen in this era. As a result, Princess Nadia ceases to exist. Harry, we have to find the real Queen. Yes. Alright, so we now have uh, Luca as a party member, which is awesome. Because Luca is a ranged fighter similar to Meryl. But her techs have elemental effects to them. Hers is flame toss when you get 10 though, but it causes a line damage and causes the enemies to catch on fire. If memory serves, I can also use this with Chrono to do a combo tech with uh, Cyclone, which does a uh, AoE fire damage. 
so that's pretty nice. Now, um, this is where I'm going to leave you guys for uh, next week. What I'm going to be doing off screen is level grinding. I'm going to try to get uh, flame toss, and I'm going to try to get slash as well if I can. But mostly I'm going to be focusing on getting uh, shelters so I can sell, get some items, and basically prepare myself for the future. Now that this is said, I can. now that they've also explained the time travel mechanic, I'm going to explain the chess thing as well. This entire game revolves around time travel. We'll be going to the future, the past, and stuff like that. But we stay on this continent. If you can find uh, landmarks that are the same in multiple time periods, there's a good chance you can find a chest that's there in both timelines as well. If you go to the future and open them first and slowly go through the timeline backwards, you can get all the items that are inside the chests. Now since the castle here is, we know is in two timelines, we can get the chests from the future as well as the chests now. So we get some better stuff if we pay attention, which is awesome. Anyway, uh, that's going to be it for this set. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to doing this set. I this let's play. I really am. So, I hope you guys are looking forward to it as much as I am. Anyway, I'll see you guys next week. Until then, have a wonderful day, and be careful not to kill your ancestor. Bye! Hello, and thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to like and subscribe. If you enjoyed this Let's Play, feel free to click one of the two links to take you to a new Let's Play. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!